good evening on september 4th 2020 china has experimented reusable spacecraft what do you mean by spacecraft and what do you mean by reusable spacecraft and what happened in the history all these things we are going to discuss now during the discussion i would like to show you the pic that is related to the spacecraft and how exactly does it function what are all the benefits with that everything we are going to understand now now if you look at the word spacecraft spacecraft is a vehicle spacecraft is a vehicle that is designed to fly in the outer space that is the meaning of the spacecraft then what do you mean by reusable reusable means it can be used again and again and again and uh, if you go back to the history during 1980s nasa has successfully designed tested and launched these reusable spacecrafts and if you go to this history there may be a possible question in the examination like uh, which of the following is the first reusable spacecraft please remember the answer is space shuttle space shuttle is the first reusable spacecraft and it was launched by america it was launched by nasa please remember these points now i would like to show you the document will and i would like to show you some points and we'll have a discussion on that kindly stay tuned i am opening the document look at this look at this the first point may be a possible question because this uh, reusable spacecraft is very much there in the news look at this the space shuttle is the world's first reusable spacecraft and the first spacecraft in history that can carry large satellites both to and from orbit what is the meaning of this it can take the satellites into the orbit and it can retrieve and get the satellites from the orbit and how exactly this is going to function very very important one so as far as the space shuttle is concerned the space the shuttle launches like a rocket it is launched like a rocket maneuvers in the earth orbit like a spacecraft and it will land like an aeroplane look at this so this is like a rocket and maneuvers in the earth orbit like a spacecraft and it will land back onto the earth like an aeroplane meaning it has the features of all these clear but would like let's try to understand why this space shuttle is developed what are the variety of purposes the first purpose is that it is like you know the satellite delivery and retrieval look at this delivery and retrieval second one orbital servicing third one round trip service for science instruments and laboratory research in the space meaning the purposes are many that is the reason why this space shuttle was developed and it was the first one that was used like a reusable spacecraft apart from that the military commercial and scientific communities have used the shuttle for their projects in the space meaning the purposes are multiple and also remember how it launches how it you know the maneuvers around the earth and how it will be landing back right so rocket spacecraft airplane all these features will come into the picture with respect to the space shuttle look at this each of three space shuttle orbiters now in operation what are they discovery atlantis and endeavor apart from this i would like to tell you please remember a name that is columbia columbia was also space shuttle which was reusable but in the year 2003 when was when it was entering back into the earth's atmosphere it was crashed 
it just it entered into the earth's atmosphere and it got crashed right and, uh, and that was like a disaster fine and if you come back to this point these three space shuttles they are designed to fly at least 100 missions 100 missions so huge so far all together they have flown a combined total of less than one fourth of that meaning so there is so much there is so much that can be done as far as this uh, you know these space shuttles are concerned right now i'll just take out these uh, marks and we'll be moving ahead let's try to understand more points with respect to this look at this the space shuttle consists of three major components after a minute i am going to show you the pick of this there is one thing that is called orbiter which houses the crew meaning the people who go along they are stationed they are housed in orbiter and a large external tank that holds fuel for the main engines and two solid rocket boosters which provide most of the shuttle's lift during the first two minutes of flight and also look at the last point on the screen very clearly very carefully all of the components are reused they are reused except for the external fuel tank which burns up in the atmosphere after each launch meaning every component can be reused except the external fuel tank now i would like to show you the pick of this this is the pick kindly have a look at this here you can see the orbiter just now i told you it houses the crew members and you can see two solid rock boosters and you can see the external tank external tank very clearly right so generally what happens you know in the preliminary examination in the or in the main examination whenever you are you know this uh, looking at the questions you need to look at very carefully right they may ask you in the preliminary examination which of the following component of the space shuttle can't be reused answer is the external tank clear and which is the component that houses the crew and the answer is orbiter am i clear and especially when you are writing the main examination my dear friends main examination try to draw some diagram like this right so that you know you will be you know uh, communicating clearly that you know the exact shape and that will be an added advantage am i clear now from here let's go ahead and we'll have a more discussion with this look at this as far as the longest shuttle has stayed meaning the longest shuttle has stayed in orbit on any angle mission is 17.5 days it was on mission STS-80 it happened in November 1996 okay and uh, also remember very clearly normally missions may be planned anywhere from 5 days to 16 days in duration so this is a general duration and the smallest crew ever fly on the shuttle numbered two people meaning right so it, it happened in the beginning just two people you know this uh, they went along and the largest crew so far was eight people normally crew may range in size between five and seven clear and the shuttle is designed to reach orbits ranging from about 185 to 643 kilometers height all the points are very very important and the latest one is that china china on september 4th 2020 successfully launched successfully launched a reusable a reusable experimental spacecraft and uh, as far as this mission information is concerned it has been kept secret 
right it has been kept a secret and the spacecraft was launched on long march 2f carrier right it was launched on long march 2f carrier rocket from the jiquin satellite launch center in the northwest of china and more details are to come with respect to china's uh, successful reusable experiment with a uh, spacecraft so during the time right, and china always wants you know these things to be very secret and uh, whenever the information is out you know we'll have more discussion on this but otherwise what is this uh, reusable spacecraft which was the first one and uh, what do you mean by orbiter and what do you mean by you know this uh, uh, you know uh, how exactly you know the crew members are housed and how many members can be you know this uh, uh, moving every time what is the minimum what is the maximum so far and how many days how many days it can be there in the orbit all these things are important for the examination point of view clear <clears throat> and uh, i'll stop at this stage and i'll see you in the next class with more current affairs thank you so much